Hello again, folks. This is Big Dub with Big Dub's Big Collection, part seven coming today, where we're going to look at Amiibo, Funko Pops, some other Funko products, and miscellany. I apologize in advance. Uh, a lot of this is in corners of my room that are very challenging for me to light, so I'm going to do the best I can. The first thing you're going to see there, I have this Amiibo display that would have been in a retail shop that I picked up, which is very cool. Uh, has good LEDs. I do have the Mario Amiibo cereal there, you can see. I have quite a few Amiibos that we're going to begin with. So, all my Amiibos here are on the corner shelf. And I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm just going to scroll through. I have another Amiibo video from a while back you could check out if you'd like. I'm just going to take you through. I have, I think, every North America released Amiibo and every international released Amiibo except for the Monster Hunter series. You can see these shelves are kind of cool, corner shelves. I think I have over 200 Amiibos, what the number is, something like that. I'll scroll back down, show you. There is not a lot of organization going on here. Just try to find a home for them where you can see them. All right, I'm on the other corner. You can see I also have a Lego Dimensions display, which I just think is kind of cool to have in the room. I don't actually collect Lego Dimensions or hardly any Lego anything, but it's cool to have. So if you go to this corner, again, you can see some more. The rest of my Amiibo collection. A lot of these are the Smash Brothers ones. Uh, most of my Smash Brothers characters I did max out and the data is saved on the Amiibo, which is fun on the Wii U version. Hopefully on the Switch, they'll be reusable. Got the yarn Yoshis up there, including the giant one, which is cool. I need a better way to display these so you can see them all. If you've been to Nintendo New York, they have this amazing glass cube that shows off all the Amiibo, which is a lot of fun. But that's this corner of Amiibo. Just right here, a few miscellany. These are the recent Amiibo I've got. That Pearl and Marina in the front from Splatoon is the newest ones. The Mario Odyssey three pack and then some of the Breath of the Wild stuff. Had those out so you can get the drops in the games, unlock the things. This Drogon is like vinyls. I got it at Hot Topic, I don't, I'm not familiar with that company. That's a Danny and Drogon Dark Horse statue, it's very good. The Dalek and that TARDIS is a USB hub. So just kind of some miscellaneous stuff right here. Agree. Then here on my uh, kind of TV stand here, where you put your systems, all my systems are at a different TV, so I use this space. I've got my wrestling Funko Pops. Uh, Ric Flair down there is a favorite. The Rock, different ones. The Bellas, Bray Wyatt, Sasha Banks, AJ, KO. I don't have all the wrestling pops, but I have some. I like that Andre the Giant very much, the New Day. Up here, probably my newest pops. You see I've got the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega and Cody. You got the Bullet Club pops up there. Tucked back behind there is the SNES Classic and the NES Classic. Nakamura, Bailey. So all my wrestling pops are sitting right here to be played with. Then you move to this shelf that's the annex to the TV stand. You see I've got the Matrix Pops there, Voltron, X-Files. You go up, some 80s stuff, Roadblock, Cobra Commander, Mumra. You got Peanuts, a lot of the Impopsters, and a uh, Bruce Wayne, and there's an Arkham Knight back there. You see my Penn State dinosaur thing. Uh, this is just miscellaneous. You got Peach Dragon, Smog back there, Balrog, a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff. There's a Tree Beard. There's also that Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park and other Lord of the Rings pops there. Just kind of miscellaneous dragon fantasy type things. All right, you come to these floating shelves here. 
You've got a bunch of Batman, the animated series pops. Most all of the initial ones they released, except for maybe the chase. You got Mega Man, looks like Dr. Wily's tipped over. Those are some Westworld pops up there. And then Mr. Robot. Most of the pops I get are from shows and things I really like, movies. Especially if they don't have other properties making figures. Then this top shelf here is all, or almost all, Harry Potter. I have a bunch of the original Harry Potter pops. You have Braveheart back there. Amelia Clark autograph. Newt's Commander. So these are on some floating shelves here. Um, I think they look nice where they are. All right, I apologize because this corner is going to be very dark. But you got Walking Dead Pops and then Walking Dead Eagle Moss models that I like. Then you go up. Some random Lost McFarlane figures. Stay Puff Marshmallow and Dorb and some more Eagle Moss models. And if we go over to this little shelf, Saved by the Bell Pops. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Various other things. American Horror Story. I think there's Twilight here. There was a time I was very heavy into Pops collecting. Ignore the Black Series that have fallen. Sesame Street. You got Ryu and Blanca. And then up here, you got the Stranger Things Pops. I collected Pops for a couple years before I got too terribly into the other items. So I have a lot, but I've considerably slowed down on my pop collecting. All right, so I'm up top in a corner. These are Funko items, so I'm gonna show you while I do this other Funko stuff. I got this wall play set with some three and three quarter figures. You know, it's not bad. Tyrion, Jon Snow, Sam, Egret, some of the various wildlings, Night King, you got Tormund who's falling. Not a bad set. And then these are the Funko reaction figures. I have all of them. Jon Snow just falls right before our eyes. A couple Dannys, several Tyrions. Call Drogo back there, Brienne, Jamie the Hound, Ned, Rob, a couple Walkers. Nothing special, but there's just not a lot of Game of Thrones merchandise out there, so I try to get it when I can. So these are some of the Funko Game of Thrones figures. All right, so let's look at the Game of Thrones other Funko items I have. Got the Night King on Icy Viserion. Got Danny on Drogon. Three dragons, the wolves. See the Night King. I have most of the Game of Thrones pops, especially the older ones. I don't have some of the really expensive variants, but I have quite a few. See Renly over there at the crown. That's one that's hard to find. All three big dragons and one one. I need to get the more recent of these. See the Daenerys section. I got the Daenerys rock candy. That is a dark horse Iron Throne that I have that Danny on. I would like very much to find the NYCC Funko Pop of the Iron Throne. I got these Dorbs, that's a Brienne Rock Candy. This is an Amiibo display, obviously Mario and Amiibo display, but it works well for the Dorbs. So you got Danny and Jon Snow there, getting the flag. So that is my Game of Thrones, Pops and Dorbs. All right, again, I apologize, it's gonna be dark. I'll try to lighten it in editing, but not much I can do. So I go around here, Family Guy, some Sherlock Pops, Preacher, just various things. Looks like Breaking Bad. As I come up, you got that Goro from Mortal Kombat. The Lost Pops, Once Upon a Time, you got a Baymax, a Mad Max. You're going to see some Mini Mates across the front because I've started to pick up a few of those here and there, especially Marvel stuff. There's the new Game of Thrones, John and the Onion Knight and Danny on the throne. And a bunch of Ragnarok stuff. That's a cost baby Black Widow back there from Hot Toys. Come over here, a bunch of mystery minis, mini mates, cost babies. That Thanos is a vinyl, Funko's new product. 
Got the Hot Topic Thanos on the throne, which is cool. Some dwarves there from Ragnarok. Ragnarok's my favorite Marvel movie. As we go down, you got Ninja Turtles. Some Star Wars. I have a lot of the Ninja Turtles regular releases. And you go down, there's DC, Suicide Squad, some of those 66 Batman stuff. Then the Arrowverse, Flashverse kind of stuff there. Come up here, more Star Wars. I think that's the show on NBC, Raymond Reddington, The Blacklist. Some more Suicide Squad. So there's just a variety of stuff on these shelves here. So the final shelf we're going to look out here. You got these Doctor Who pops. Now quite a number of the Doctor Who had all of them for a while. Then you go up and you start to get into the Marvel stuff. I like that Gwenum. That's a recent pop I've picked up. The Vulture's cool. A bunch of mini mates again. See the Giant Man back there. Then you go up. More Marvel. That Wasp was a recent pickup. I'd love to have the unmasked Chase Wasp. That Modoc is like that Disney, the thing that got really cheap for video games. Thanos, couple Thanos. Then as you go up here, you see the Mother Brain, and then you do have what is rare for me, and that they are in box items. My chases, chase is not a big deal for me because I'm not an inbox collector and I'm not a big pop collector anymore. But I got the Million Dollar Man, Iron Sheik, Punisher holding the Daredevil head, Finn Balor, Heisenberg, which was a trade with Foxy, and the Chase Door Melisandre. Almost all of these have been a gift or a trade, and I just don't open them because that's not what you're supposed to do. That Heisenberg, I'd like to open, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is because it looks great in the box. So anyway, that is my miscellaneous Funko, Pop, Dorb, and Amiibo collection. I, I think I have still several hundred Funko Pops and a couple hundred Amiibos. So there was a lot of items you looked at here. If you have any questions about them, send me a note in the comments. Sorry for the darkness. I know this video is a little less organized. That's because this collection has just kind of taken over this room and it's not a good way to display it. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.